touch loop get dizzy. What the hell? So I'm confused. What's so challenging about this level? Why can I not um, do this? It's a 20 meter per second, dude. That's fine. I mean, this curve seems to fit very nicely. And then I have all this money, so I'm just gonna t overspend right now. Just super overspend. I would never do this if I was budget conscious. But I've been given 150,000, and I don't know what it's for. So let's just let's just do this. All right, here we go. Right. <laughs> that makes a little bit more sense now. <laughs> I'm like, how is this different from this thing? You can't travel through this thing. It all <laughs> makes sense now. Okay, so with that in mind, well, sh hold on. I can go over. Yeah, I can go over. Okay, okay, so here's how I'm gonna do this then. I'm gonna get myself some triangles. Let's get started on that. And then I'm gonna build some other stuff. What a weird loop. <laughs> Uh, now I think I just want to do ropes to up here. Let's send this down to like here and then do a f another loop, I guess. But this loop has to be absurdly tight. This has to be like the goddamn tightest loop ever made because it's got to loop around like this and then kind of come up like that. And then it's got to launch up and I'll even curve this a bit more and then kind of come back down here. Oh my God. It's got to be caught like here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to loop it around again like this. This is such a mess because what I need to do now is send it more lateral. Lower this a bit, move this back a bit. So the gap just sends it kind of through here, lower this a bit, and then I'll smooth these out later. Don't y'all worry. And then this is going to travel all the way to like over here. And it's probably going to fall a bit and then I will catch it like so and send it on one final loop to end all loops. All right, let's clean this up by getting rid of some of these right now and even some of the steels. Oh God, this is gonna be a bitch. Let's just do two ropes here, I suppose. So then I wanna do this part. This has to be steel because I can't have ropes on top because the car is gonna be pushing against the road here. Yeah, the budget is definitely justified now. I'll, I'll say that for sure. For all loops, it's usually best if I have some sort of connecting middle thing like this. This is just the best way to do loops. It's clean, it's effective, nothing wrong with it. But then things get tricky when this is involved. Do I almost have the outer loop feed into the inner loop? Possibly. I think that's worth considering. No Twitch chat, this is not a penis. Not everything is phallic, believe it or not. So now, yeah, this thing is floating. I gotta figure out how I wanna support it. Let's maybe do some of these. Let me just see if this holds. Oh, it swings! Shit! That's right, that's what happens when you have cables you support. All right, let's get rid of a couple. Not too many though. And we need to add sti- Fuck, <laughs> my budget's a bitch. <laughs> uh, you know what, I'll deal with the swing later. I'm going over budget right now, it's fine. Let's maybe attach... I could try attaching cables to here. Oh, that's stable. Let's see if it works. We're gonna slow it down so we can watch it. This is actually everything I need, so... First jump is all right, but it moves. Oh, shit. It loses speed up here. Oh, that's bad. So this snapped. Let's get another cable going to here, I guess. Well, let's try first moving this in a little bit. Because the loop itself didn't really smash. Tight loop. So then I'm gonna have to do something like this. Yeah, a little, a little semi-circle up here. And then this is his own floating thing. Let's do, let's do a steel to here, a steel to here, and then maybe a cable to here, call the day. Uh, but then I need to, oh, then I need to attach some of the ends. So something like this, let's do this here. And maybe this will be a cable just because of the length. I'm also gonna get rid of this temporarily. Support this here and here and here. Oh, I forgot about this piece. Right, so I gotta attach this here. And then maybe some steel braces in between them. Something stressed. Uh, let's try to support this more if we can. Uh, let's do cable to here and here. Oh, it's 33% now. Okay, that's a, that's a big difference. I'm okay with going over budget because I just want to beat this. Yo, that got further than expected. This shit broke, but that, that didn't do too bad. I think we can get rid of that. 
in favor of this. And then here, I just got to move this in a bit and then curve this better. All right, so I need more support to this part up here. Okay. Good. Ah, oh, shit. Almost. Let's raise this a bit higher. Oh, it was so close. All right, this needs to be lowered again. Our first completion. There we go. The big loop. Yo, this level's really cool. <laughs> There's like six loops in this thing. Okay, let's optimize, man. Let's just get under budget. Maybe unbreaking. Unbreaking would be kind of nice, but I can't be too greedy. Oh, let's try to maybe change the trajectory of this. It all just comes down to that final loop. It's not an easy one. Let's do something more like, something like this. And just the giant catching wall. I'm gonna give this another five minutes that I think I'll move on. Yeah, I love this level though. I think it's a very cool level. Siri set a timer for five minutes. Yeah, except I disabled Siri, so you guys are gonna have to be my Siri. Oh, please. Yes, that's it, right? Nothing broke? Hey, let's go. That's what happens when you put yourself on a timer. It's done, it's finished. We got our sick loop, our catch, and our perfect-ish landing at the flag. It's kind of challenging, kind of finicky, but it's just good fun. Let's go to another level then. Car core. Design a bridge enabling the minivan to do some car core. Interesting mouthful. So it's, it's gotta stop here. How fast does this go? Not very. And then stops over here. So two spring cannons. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do one at a time, or one car. One, whatever the fuck this is. One, one cannon and see if I enjoy it. All right, we're gonna yeet this thing. <laughs> well, that's a little bit too powerful. Yeah, I wish I wish it was a little bit higher, but that's fine. Not a big deal. Let's try something a little bit less extreme. All right, so I can make this 90% compressed, so this side pushes up more. Maybe move it like this, just fiddle around with a bit. Oh, nice. Stick the landing. So now we just got to get this. Let's first um, try to save a little money. Uh, let's see if that blows up. All right, it doesn't. All right, saved money and now we can do this. Yeah, this actually isn't that bad. This one's gonna be weird though, because we gotta launch it even further to the right. So I'm gonna turn off the grid for this one and build this over here. Have these both be split joints and have neither of these go during this time. I don't know why there's one more hydraulic phase in the end, but whatever. After uh, releasing from this, I will... Actually, I might do this. Let's do, I don't know, something like this. A little bit over budget, but that's fine. I wanna just see if it works as a concept. All right. <laughs> oh, that blew up. Let me see if this helps at all. Well, that's one hell of a yeet. All right, glad that works. Let's just uh, try to, well, hold on. Let's just try to get it uh, under budget now. Let's mess around with this a little. I think I can even get rid of this. Nice! Under budget. Uh, ignore that break. <laughs> it didn't break. Game didn't see it, therefore it didn't happen. Carcour. Let's, uh, let's go back. All right, big jump. Crazy Phil is just crazy. All right, here's our vehicle. There's the speed, gotta make a jump. I mean, that's a, that's a very big jump. I don't know. I've done a lot of crazy jump stuff with high speed things like cars, long distances. I don't know. Just because I've done a lot of levels like this. I'll give this one 10 minutes. Maybe they can just start jumping up here. Just a nice gradual ramp. All right, that's our jump. This is expensive though. So maybe I'm really overbuilding this. I don't know how fast 100 meters per second is as far as this game is considered. I have no idea, so we're just gonna run it. Right, how about that? 
Let's see if that's enough distance to get us there. And then we'll do like a little steel pencil. All right, so let's run it. 100 meters. I'm gonna first just have it uh, at slow speed with stress on so we can make sure our ramp doesn't break. Like, let's make sure this thing doesn't tear itself apart. Then afterwards, I'll run it at full speed. Okay, it's a light vehicle. All right, we have takeoff. Uh, we are a bit off. Not quite there. All right, let's launch it up more then. Taller toothpick. I might even get rid of the other one. I also think I can make these regular roads now that I realize how unstressed they are. I cannot believe it. This road needs to be minuscule. Maybe we don't need this road. Oh, maybe we don't. Oh, even with that road, it's too much. Okay, so even shorter then. And there we go. The beautiful landing, the big jump. No stress, just a sick jump. It looks nice too, I want to create a nice jump. It does one flip, does it do two flips? It does a flip and a half, then lands upside down, and then tumbles off the cliff. RNG is in the level ID, so that scares me. Try to balance your bridge on a thin area. The balancing act. Oh, whoa, I, what is this vehicle? Fancy. This is steampunk as fuck. So we have to balance our bridge on these joints in the middle. This seems interesting. New update vehicle, interesting. So here's what I'm curious about. What if I do some sort of balance on both sides kind of deal? Like this. Little over budget, but let me see if this concept works. No, it doesn't. Not currently, it doesn't. Maybe I don't want them to be ropes. Ropes on the bomb do anything. Okay, so it's just the steel breaking. I mean, this shouldn't be too bad if I have some sort of better steel thing. Like this. Closer. I feel like tension might be the move. Ah, from the middle though? I'm gonna see if I can just make a good enough support in the center to have it hold up. It's kind of two muscles. Oh, so now we have this breaking. All right, the reinforced road it becomes. Oh, close. I almost made it. All right, it's made it halfway. Now it's not gonna make it all... Wow, that made it further than I expected. I think if we just reinforce this up, we've got it. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Pretty easy, but creative. I love selling out. I will gladly do your level if you donate money. And you know what's also cool? If you donate more money than the person who level is doing it, I'll stop doing their level and I'll play your level instead. Great. Ah, I deserve this. <laughs> I deserve this. This is, uh, <laughs> I deserve this. Oh God. So it, you guys remember 415? There's four of them. <laughs> <laughs> There's four of them. We have to create four 415s and we only have two hydraulics. Holy shit. This is just cruel. So I remember when I did this with one hydraulic and how jank it was. And it was really jank. Yeah, 10 minutes. I, I think I'll give it a 10 minute try. I'm not gonna beat it. I'm not even gonna come close, but I'll see how close I get with 10 minutes. Oh, wait a second. They don't all go at once. I, it just occurred to me that they all do not go at once. Ah, uh, this may change things. Wait a second. So if I build this, build just my normal solution, I don't have rope. Rope would be nice. Do um this, and how the fuck did I do it? It was like this. Right, so this is my normal solution, right? This is how I normally did the level. Let me verify that this is how I did it. Forgot about something very important here. Oh yeah, this needs to be higher up. Yeah, I think that's more right. 
Oh, it was this. There we go. It was on the grid. All right. So that's how it moves. So what I'm thinking about doing is just copy pasting this everywhere. We're going to make all these split joints first. I'm going to copy paste it everywhere. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach all the right side roads and all with each other and all the left side roads with each other. And it's just going to move in unison. Now, I don't know if the hydraulics is going to be strong enough to move all of it. Uh, but, you know, that's what I'm going to try. All right. So now we just have to get to attaching. So I think I'll attach by the top parts. Bad news is we're almost out of budget. Like, let me even see if this works. Shit, it doesn't. Okay, if I attach these steel to here, does it work? Okay, yep, this one works. <laughs> the only thing is we're out of money. You know what? I'm just going to complete it. I don't give a shit. We're going to build the rest of it. We're going massively over budget. Do not care. So here is our masterpiece. Four, four 15s and one. Ignore the budget. I just want to see if this sort of thing worked. All right, let's see what happens. 14% stress. Here we go. There goes everything. Oh, shit broke. Wait. It still works though. It's not gonna pull back up though, is it? Wait, it is. We don't need that wood. We don't need that wood. Oh, I also realized though, <laughs> we need to change the hydraulic phase a little bit. That should work. And just watch this thing go. <laughs> it's beautiful. It all just rotates together. Hopefully it's durable enough to not wear out over time. This even looks pretty cool. All right, not a bad level. <laughs> not bad at all. I'm not gonna try to get this under budget because it seems awful, but figuring that out was not too terrible. <laughs>